Alrighty. Uh, well, good morning, everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. And yeah, I'm kind of running a little late doing this. Um, just been uh, too distracted with other stuff. Um, to start. Oh, and uh, before I continue, um, you know what? I'll just go with this. Uh, I'm I'm currently drinking V8 Energy, uh, peach mango flavored. No, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, the picture you're seeing now, this is uh, one of Jupiter's moons. It's called Ganymede. I think that's how it's pronounced. I, I don't know, but anyway. Um, played a small sample of this. And it, it, sounds, uh, it sounds a lot tamer compared to some of the other songs you've been hearing. Let me go ahead and get that going. But, um, otherwise, uh, just, like I said, just been a little too distracted. I, um, I pulled another game out of the mothballs this morning called, uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6. Um, and the, uh, the, the Bloons Tower Defense game, game franchise is actually one of my favorites. Uh, I've been playing that since probably the late 2000s, early 2010s when it was, uh, when the third edition came out, uh, Bloons Tower Defense 3, I think that's, think that's the one, and uh, I'm gonna have to, okay, looks alright so far, oh, yeah. but anyway, um, I hadn't played, uh, this, I haven't played the, uh, the sixth edition in probably at least a year, and I was just browsing through my Steam library, and it was just kind of sitting there staring at me right in the face, so I was just kind of like, hmm, that, you know, it's been a while since I played that one. So I just fired it up and did a few runs on it. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I have streamed the I have streamed the game from time to time as well. Um, and it's also one of those where I played co-op. I played co-op with other with other players, but problem is, is uh, the lag really kicks in when you're a uh, multiplayer. -ing. And plus they uh, they have a they had a few they had a new map on there that I wanted to try out. So like I said, just played that. So played that for a while. I also tried playing um, Banners of Ruin. I talked about this yesterday, but it's this cross between between Slay the Spire and Darkest Dungeon. Um, theoretically, it's a great idea. Um, as far as execution goes, it really missed the mark. Um, I tried doing another run of this, but I only got maybe halfway through, and I think a, I think it was a bad random event, and I just ended up uh, ended up all death pouring out of the game because I just it was like I like I said the the execution wasn't there. So, but uh. Out of respect for that fact, though, or out of respect for the concept they created, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete it and get a refund or anything. But so I'll just, I'll keep, I'll probably keep it. Uh, but otherwise, I just, um, I watched some more uh, Amoeba Records videos, and I'm. I believe the days of watching these are coming to an end. And I think it was probably probably for the it was probably the same reason why I gave up watching them a few years ago as well. I got sick of the damn smugness that a lot of these or not a lot, but some of these musicians had. It's the whole no, oh, this album here is the greatest album ever. One of the most important albums in all of society, you know, you know, and then um you know, and I'm like, no, not to me, or you know, it, I I can't think of an I can't think of I can't think of an album right off the top of my head. But yeah, there's there's a lot of musicians that think that the album that they listen to is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then to top it off, they 
I give them the benefit of the doubt because my experience is so different from everybody else's, but when they say when they, when they say it's the sentence that really pisses me off is the everybody needs to check this record out. I, the moment I hear that, I'm I'm more than likely going to be saying, fuck you, man. No, I'm not going to check it out now. You know, I don't like it when people push their views onto me. By the same token, I, I always try not to push my view. I try not to push my views onto other people. Or I don't like doing to other people what's been done to me. So, but yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing too much of this. You know, it's great. It's great that you found the album that you're looking for. But I, you know, and you know, and I'm overall I'm kind of interested in what you found. Okay, I mean that's great. What I don't like, though, is when people start shoving these records in my face telling me that I gotta go out and get one myself. Or, or, this record is a very important, you know, or this record is a, it's all important piece of musical history, or, you know, just basically saying, my album is great, my album is better than what you got, you know, that kind of thing. The, uh, Alpha Male one upmanship bullshit. My album collection is greater than your album collection. So I I got I'm I got tired of that. Too much too much arrogance. Now Now to be to be fair on that though, I mean if it's a if it's an album like Um Oh, what's a common theme? Like, Sleater, some band called Sleater Kidney. Or Sleater Kidney. I, I, I had to stop myself from saying kidney. But, you know, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these bands seem to be buying this record. Sleater Kidney. Or Kidney. Kidney. But, you know, they, if, if, you know, if it's, if, if they're bragging, if they're, if they're bragging about an obscure record, one that I never heard of. It's somewhat understandable because I too am above the belief that people really need to wean themselves off of mainstream radio. You know, but I mean, at the same time, no, I'm not gonna just, I'm not, just, I'm not gonna just outright tell somebody you need to quit, you need to stop listening to that radio shit and go, you know, go listen to some real music, you know, that kind of thing. It, you probably heard that an umpty zillion times already. So, me saying it is just basically throwing salt on a wound. You know, but at the same time, yeah, they really do need you know, you know, break out of, you know, break out of the comfort zone and you know, go, go buy, you know, go listen to music that you don't hear every day. So, so again, if they're, if these guys are sitting there talking up an album that. I've never even heard of, and I'm sure a lot of other people have never heard of. It's a little more excusable, but ultimately, don't don't tell me that I have to listen to something, or don't tell me that your album is much greater than my album. Um, do you know? And back when I used to play vinyl when streaming, um, the only record I could think of where I said something to that effect was the, the John F. Kennedy Memorial Album. But I really... It wasn't just... It wasn't just personal experience or anything like that. I, It really is an important piece of American history. Do I think everyone should just drop what they're doing and check out the album? No. But I, there's... But I mean, you're... You're hearing... You're, you know, but the younger... This is especially true to the younger generation. Some of these people probably never even heard of JFK. You know, and this record here, it had a, it had his press conferences, his interviews, his speeches, up to and including his assassination, um, all the speeches that some of these other people were giving after his death. This is something that you're not gonna find in, you're not gonna find in probably your average history book, or something there. I would think that they're probably not gonna teach in history class. So, I mean, but I think, 
out of all the other records I have, I think this is probably the only time where I'll say where I'll say something like this. But to me, this is something that warrants saying, you know. You know, the John F. K. Memorial album is a very important piece of American history. You know, unlike, you know, as opposed to say, the Eagles greatest hits album. I mean, any I mean, anybody who tells me that, you know, the Beat the Beatles best of, I probably I'm, I'm probably laugh in their face. You know, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, if you if you if you've got to tell me to go out and get an album, you know, don't you know don't tell me to go get Boston's uh, Boston's debut album. I've probably heard it an umpty zillion times throughout the thirty the thirty plus years of my existence. I don't need to hear the shit again. Which, now that I think about it too, um, another thing, another thing too is, uh, in all fairness, I don't want to say I'm a tough sell. Uh, I'd probably say I'm a I'm more of a unique sell. I mean, throughout it, the throughout the thirty at least at least thirty years out of my life. I I was basically forced I've been forced into listening to shitty mainstream music. So you kind of have to you kind of have to deal with me a little more delicately. Like if it if what you're at if if what you're advertising to me is a mainstream record, you probably want to tread lightly on that cuz I'm probably more than likely to tell tell you no, I'm not going to listen to that album. I've listened to it a ton of other times. I've listened to it a ton of times already. Or, excuse me, I've been forced to listen to that music a ton of times already, so there's a lot of clockwork orange buildup. So, no, I don't want to hear it again. So, yeah, to kind of, to kind of balance that out a little bit. Yeah, the, the sounds here are actually a little more, uh, they're actually more tamer compared to, uh, to some of the moons that I've been playing the past few days. Those suckers are noisy and, and it just kind of hit me too. It's like these little, it's like the, it's like it's the smaller moons that make the bigger, louder, louder noise. It's like, it's like the old, it's like that old saying. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. It's like you got these uh these little tiny moons that are just But then you got these big old big old huge moons here that are just You know, they got the more they got the more smooth laid back sound to them. But anyway, going going back to what I was saying, just the overall smugness that uh, these musicians are projecting, it just it's really grating on me. Um, I'm, I'm and and then there's um and then there's the um the more musically sophisticated, or I guess in my opinion, perhaps they're too they're too sophisticated about their music, like. They'll get all technical and they'll be, oh, I love how the, I love how the B chord transitions over into the C flat chord. This is such a beautiful record. The way they shape the tone and sound, especially on track three and in like the third, from like the third minute to the fourth minute is the most beautiful thing. Almost a spiritual out of body experience. Do you know what I mean? No. I have no fucking clue what you mean, because I've never heard the fucking album before. You know, and, and it's something else I started thinking about too. There's, there, there's smugness, and on one end, I mean, yeah, it's like what I said a while ago. Yes, it's, it's great that you found what you were looking for in a record store. You know, especially vinyl. 
vinyl and I guess CDs as well. Cause you ain't you ain't looking for the shit on on Amazon Prime or on Spotify, whereas you can basically you can find anything, any you know, you can find any kind of music just like that. For vinyl and CDs, you gotta hunt for the shit. So yeah, it I mean you find you I mean I mean yeah, you if you could find that rare record you've been looking for for God knows how long, you deserve to celebrate. But at the same time, I think he I think people need to be more mindful of the people they're talking to. You know, not I mean, not everybody know not everybody's even heard of the album that you're you're that you're um you're um Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? That you're showing off, you know. You know, it, it just, but it, it, it's, it's just that it's, a, it's, they really, they really come off as, they really come off as crass when they do this. You know, it, it's almost, it's almost like they're going out of their way to find the most obscure record that they can find and then showing that off, like, as if, you know, I guess, I guess there's a, I guess there's a smugness aspect in that too. It, you know, it. You know they're sitting there, and I I probably been saying this fat the past few times uh, on my past few casts um, whenever I bring up Amoeba Records, it's musicians I've never even heard of, uh, finding music that I never even heard of. And again, you're not you're not talking to somebody who, you know, you're not talking to somebody who lives and breathes the mainstream. In fact, I'm I'm fiercely anti I'm fiercely against it, and I've got thirty plus years to prove it. You know, so. So it, they're they're bringing up shit that even I've never even heard of. So it feels like I'm going off track on this. It feels like something that I could almost make a whole, I could make a whole a whole video just on this. But again, trying to go back to what I was originally talking about, it's I think I think people that people on Amoeba who show off these records. I, they need to be more user friendly, or they need to consider their audience more. Cause again, um, one bright shiny example. I don't know her name, but she's she's a singer from New Zealand. But yeah, she was getting all kinds of technical about her, about these uh, records that she was finding. You know, it's I love I love the way he treats the tone and sound. The beautiful way that he does these flutes and and oh uh, no, uh, the wonderful way he, the wonderful way he handles the woodwind section in the orchestra. You know, again, I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. I why? Because I've never heard the fucking album that she's propagandizing. It's quite a word. So yeah, it, but like I said, I'm. But the, the the days of me watching these amoeba vids are wearing thin, and I, I think this is probably the same reason, same reason why I stopped watching these amoeba vids like a few years ago. It just, it just. I think at one point I said, "Will you guys just knock it the fuck off?" And I end up just quit watching stuff on that channel. Verbal masturbation. Maybe that's the phrase I was looking for. But anyway, um. Oh, and uh, also before I forget, I also watched uh, episode 13 of Dragon Ball. I actually thought it was the last episode of the season because the the evil blue emperor has been defeated and and Yamcha and Bulma. Um, they're now an item. They hooked up. Um, every, all the all the characters are now going their separate ways. So, I thought you know, and they all you know, and they all lived happily ever after. I thought it was like the last episode of the season, but nope, apparently not. Uh, there's at least one more episode after this, so so probably end up watching that one whenever I get a chance. 
But yeah, it. But yeah, that the uh, the amoeba thing. That's a bit of a sore spot. But anyway, um, and I could I could probably I could probably easily keep rambling on and on and on about this, but that's that's all it would be then, just a bunch of rambling on and on and on. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, because basically I've said all the things that I wanted to say. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these again tomorrow morning. So, but, damn it. But until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.